Hi children, we are with the first lesson from grade 8, Importance of Microorganisms. I have divided this lesson into some several parts. Today we are discussing first part. The topic is microorganisms. There are living organisms which are visible and also invisible to the naked eye in our environment. So, you can observe the invisible living organisms by doing this small practical tool in your school laboratory. So, you need a sample of coconut water, a glass slide, a cover slip and light microscope. So, you have to do, first of all, put the coconut water into a clean container and keep it for three days. These are the set of coconut water containers which we can observe through day by day. The first one is fresh coconut water. The others are after that. Then put a drop of coconut water onto the glass slide and cover it with a cover slip. Observe the prepared slide through the light microscope under low power. Get the help of your teacher. This is what you can see. The enlarged diagram. What you see under the microscope. The microorganisms in coconut water. The unicellular fungus variety called yeast can be observed mainly in the above sample. This organism cannot be examined to the naked eye in isolation but can be observed through microscope. Therefore, yeast is microorganisms. What is the unicellular fungal variety which we can observe in that coconut, some coconut water sample? It is yeast. It is yeast also microorganism. So, the unicellular, that means single-celled or multicellular organisms which cannot be observed clearly by naked eye are called microorganisms. What do you mean by microorganisms? The unicellular or multicellular organisms which cannot be observed clearly by naked eye. These microorganisms can be observed clearly through microscopes. Microorganisms are found in every habitat on the earth. Let's see what are they. They live in all environments such as atmosphere. This is a picture of our microorganisms which we can observe in air. In water, in soil, let's see some microorganisms which we can observe in hostile environment like glaciers. This is the glass microorganisms which we can observe in glaciers. Deserts, in deep sea, hot springs, saline environment. There is a tremendous biological diversity among microorganisms. They differ in their morphological characteristics and as well as their physiological mechanisms. You can observe the, some permanent slides of microorganisms in laboratory. I think you maybe have seen or not, but I'm going to show you 
the microorganisms the permanent slides of microorganisms which you can see in laboratory this is bacteria in permanent slides yeast algae species called chlamydomonas a fungal variety is called muca protozoa like amoeba this is paramecium exploration of microorganism was possible with further developments in my microscopy the dutch scientist antony van leeuwenhoek observed microorganism for the very first time in 1647 you seen a simple microscope that he invented this is the pictures of these are the pictures of the dutch scientist antonio van leeuwenhoek and his simple microscope was invented in uh, 1674 thank you this is all what we have to learn today let's meet with another new lesson from importance of microorganisms thank you